Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's a few days after Christmas and we have taken our Christmas decorations down. So, um, but as part of that, I just wanted to do a bit of a spring clean and freshen up. Um, and I've also been trying to organize things around the house. Um, so I did an Ikea order with mostly sort of storage solutions um, to help me with my post Christmas tidy up. And a huge, huge box arrived as part of that. And I just thought it's quite a good opportunity to jump on and show you what I bought as a haul. Um, so if you're new to my channel, um, it'd be amazing if you could subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this video, if you like this sort of homey content, and if you'd like any more, um, do let me know. And let's get started. So the first item I wanted to show you is not storage related actually, um, but I just added it to my basket at the end because I thought the children would love it. I think it's called, and apologies for my pronunciation of all the Ikea names, I just, I don't know how they're said, so I'm, I will try my best, but I'm sorry. Um, I think this is called uh, Dirk Tick, which is the same as the Ikea Children's Kitchen name, which we've actually got as well. And we've got a lot of the play food, and I really like this sort of creative play with the children. Um, so we do a lot of this um, sort of role play, making food, pretending we're a shop, things like that, and I've bought a few items. This I hadn't seen before, but I quite like it. It's a little um, pizza um, plate, so sort of pretend you're in a pizza oven, you can pop it in, and then it all comes apart. So there's even like a little anchovy, it's very sweet. Um, and yeah, it all comes apart, so you have sort of the rocket on top, the anchovy, tomatoes, uh, chili, cheese, tomato, anyway, it all comes apart in bits. So the kids have really enjoyed playing with that, and I also think it was a really good price. It was seven pounds. Next up I wanted to show you these, they're called Corken glass jars and I bought three of them and I just thought they were they were really nice colour, they're turquoise glass um, and what I'm planning on doing with these is um, storing our laundry tablets and also our dishwasher tablets. I just wanted somewhere that was um, safe for the children so it had some sort of locking system on it um, which I don't think, Quinn may be possibly able to do this, he's, he's four years old but I no, Rosie wouldn't be able to get into these. We've also just finished our, one of our last rooms to refurbish was our utility room, um, which we've just finished. So I'll show you a few shots of that. And we've just put up some cabinets in there. So all of our tablets for the laundry and for the dishwasher are raised high so the children can't get them. So they should never be able to get to what's holding the tablets anyway. But I just thought as additional security, I'd make sure they were in some sort of secure container. So I just thought these were quite nice to decant all of the um, laundry tablets in, because at the moment I have about three different boxes of laundry tablets taking up an awful lot of room. I just thought if I could decant them into something, it might make it a bit simpler. Um, so I'll show you a few shots of when that's finished and, and what our utility room hopefully will look like. So there's a couple of bits for the utility room. So I'll show you that afterwards. So I actually bought three of these, because I was thinking one for laundry tablets, one for dishwasher tablets, and I'm not quite sure for the final one. Maybe more laundry tablets, because we probably often have quite a lot, because I buy them in bulk. Um, or maybe for things like um, my, I have Vanish whitening crystals. So possibly that in there. Um, and then related to, the, sorry, these were £2.50 each, which I think is a really good bargain as well. I think that'd be great for kitchen items too, for storing cereal, rice, things like that. Um, and I also have a smaller size one in the kitchen, which I store our hot chocolate in, and it's really good for that. Um, related to that, I bought this um, glass, glass jar with a cork stopper. Um, so this was, again, I think £2.50. Um, and I was thinking I might put, we've, we've got a huge, again, I buy in bulk, so we've got a huge um, uh, laundry uh, conditioner, um, but in a massive, massive box. And at the moment, I just pour it in, but I do find it a bit of a struggle to get in without spilling it every time. So I just thought I may decant some into this so I can just use that on a daily basis. Um, if I decide not to use it for that, the other thing I thought it would be quite nice for is maybe even just um, having water in. So um, when we sit down for dinner or in the summer when we're going outside and sitting at our picnic table, um, we could just decant some water into it. Um, and I could probably even leave it in the fridge to keep cool and then have it out with us um, for our water. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna use that for, but I just really liked it and I thought it was a bit of a bargain. Um, so sticking with our new laundry room theme, um, I also bought these, which were, I think they're in the kitchen section, or I don't know if they have sections online, but that sort of thing. Um, because I think really they're for um, cutlery and condiments. Um, and they don't come with these 
French curse, but this is how I'm planning on using it. Um, so what it is, is a long tin, and it comes with this holder with it. And what you do is um, you pop that on like that, and then you can attach it to the wall. Um, and I just thought, oh, laundry room, I, I love it. I love it how we decorated, but it is quite plain. It just needed something else going into it. So I thought if I could pop that on the wall with some of these pedicures in it, it just brings a bit of colour into the room. Um, again, I'll show you a bit of footage of once it's completed, what it actually looks like. And do let me know in the comments what you think, whether it's a good idea or whether it looks ridiculous. Um, so this one is called Fintorp. And this item is £7, not for the fetchcoat, as I say, just for the tin, it was £7. And I did see on the website that it says last chance to buy, so I think possibly they might be discontinuing that soon. Um, the rail that comes with it to attach it to the wall, sorry, it doesn't come with it, you have to buy separately, to attach it to the wall is £4.50. These little fetchcoats that I bought to put in it, I think they're just £1.50 each, but I will add a link in the description box below so that you can see that's what they are. Um, and then related to that item, because oh, sorry, the bar that I sit on is actually slightly longer than the tin, so you can buy another separate, just drop the bit that holds it up, you can buy another separate pot um, that sits next to that one on the same rail. Um, and again, it's got another black bit that goes around it that holds it up with hooks, which I've just dropped on the floor. Hold on, I'll get that. So this is the bit that holds it up. So again, similar to the other tin, it just pops around it like that and you can hook it onto the um, rail that you can buy to hold it up with. Um, this one is currently reduced to three pounds for this tin and the hook. Um, again, I think it's because they're gonna discontinue it fairly soon. Um, so if you're keen, you probably need to get online and order it. Um, and then I ordered this other um, fridge cup to go with it. Um, I was just gonna stick with the green theme and have them all green, but I kind of thought, Maybe I should have a little bit of a different colour in there. So I went for this one. Again, I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll pop it up and I'll pop some images on. And if you can let me know in the comments if you think it looks good or not, um, that would be great because I'm not entirely sure. But I think if, if this doesn't go in the utility room, I will probably find another home for this because I've got a few different pots from Ikea like this that it would go in. So I'll probably be able to find another place for it. Um, this rose veg cart was £9. So it was a bit more on the pricier side. Um, but yeah, I just quite like the way it drapes down and the colour of it. Um, so yeah, those are my bits for my utility room. So next up, I've just got a little bit of story to show you for um, the bathroom. So these are called Saxborger, I think. Um, and I just love this little set. I really like the cork. I think it looks really nice, especially in like a white bathroom, I think with a bit of cork. I just think it would look really smart. Um, and I also quite like the practicality of this. My only downside that I'm thinking about it is it is glass um, and everything gets broken in our house so um, I'm just thinking where am I going to put this in the bathroom where the children aren't going to be able to get it I might have to pop it from the <laughs> shelf up high if I can um, but yeah I just really liked this little set I thought it was really cute for maybe um, cotton wool and um, little earbuds in one um, and some maybe little um, pads for removing your makeup in another um, I just thought, yeah, I think I can do quite a lot for that. I think it's really cute. The next one that I bought for the bathroom is also called Saxborger. I think they're from the same range. Um, and I got this one um, really to try and organise myself with um, sort of makeup. I don't have much makeup. I really don't. Um, but the way I store it at the moment, I'll just show you. I'll um, show you how little makeup I have. This is basically all my makeup. Um, but I just find it a bit of a nightmare because I just chuck everything that I own in this one tiny bag and I just end up scrabbling around and have to throw it out all over the floor so I can find what I need. Um, so I just thought if I could spread it out into a box like this, um, it would just make my life easier. And then maybe I can get a bit more makeup. Um, so I like, the, I, I love the way this is set up. So you've got a little um, sort of deeper storage compartment here, which has got different sections in it to separate things out. You've got just a little sort of one that fits on top, so it's ridged, so it fits nicely on top of the other one. It doesn't move about too much. Um, I was thinking even I could put some earrings in there or something, so they're nice and easy to see. Um, and then it's got the final section that goes on top like that. Um, and then I liked the top because you have the cork bit on top, which again I think looks smart like the previous one. And then there's also a mirror 
which is probably showing all my camera set up here, but yeah, a mirror on top. So if you are out, and, like if you're going away somewhere, which I know none of us are at the moment, but in the future, you never know, you could have to take it with you or just take the mirror with you. So you've got something to look at like that. Um, and upstairs as well, our bathroom is a bit funny upstairs. The ceilings are, because we're in a chalet bungalow, the ceilings are pitched. So we're struggling to think, we've only just redone the bathroom and we're struggling to think where to put a mirror. So we don't have one up there at the moment, so I could just use that little one, which I think is it, it suit me perfectly. Um, so this um, storage unit was fifteen pounds, and this one was thirteen, um, which I think is really good value. And then the final item I got for the bathroom is this little uh, storage box. I think they're called Barrera, um, and it was three pounds fifty. And I just thought I'm going to use this to pop in our under sink storage cupboards. Um, because they're, 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 well, they're fairly decent sized cupboards, but obviously they've got the, all the pipes under there from the sink. So there's not much you can fit in, but I thought if I could fit a box in either side, then it'd just be neater to stack sort of our toiletries in it and like that, and then easier to get out and have a look at what you've got as well. So that's the final item that I got for our bathroom. So the next item I want to show you is these um, other storage boxes, which are called Rabla. Um, so I just really like the design of these. Um, they're like canvas boxes around the bottom with a wooden top and then they've got compartments inside. Um, so I just thought, uh, yeah, I thought they were a nice size, really nice looking and well made. Um, and actually I had thought before I ordered them, when I ordered them at the time, I was thinking our medicine cabinet is a mess, absolute mess. I will try and show you some of the footage. Um, and I was thinking it might be quite nice to maybe store it in this because I could put different compartments for plasters and bandages. Um, but then thinking about it, I don't think I'd be able to, maybe, but maybe I wouldn't be able to put the medicine in here because I wanted something again, which is a bit more tricky to get into. Um, our medicine is up, up high in a very high cabinet that neither Quinn nor Rosie can get to. Um, but still, like with the, with the storage jars, I don't know if I just want another sort of, um, security mechanism to stop them getting in so maybe I want something a bit more secure than this but I might be able to use it like I say for the items like plasters bandages things like that from our um, medicine or I might find another use for it in the house um, so I bought two of them just because I thought they were really cute together um, and one I've already put together and I thought I'd just quickly show you me putting the other one together again I'm terrible at putting things like this together so apologies and I will show it speeded up but I just thought I'd show you how it comes flat pack like this and how you pop it together So the next couple of items are for bedroom storage, which I got. So these, I've already got quite a few of these actually in all of our drawers. So I think it's my favorite Ikea name though. It's, they're called Scub. I think that's just the best name. Um, and they come like this and you just pop them up like this into a box and zip up the bottom. Um, and then they are, I find them really, really helpful for popping into chest of drawers um, to store clothes particularly the children's clothes, because I have got them for mine as well, but I just think for the children's clothes, they're much smaller. And if you just pop them into a drawer, they, even if you fold them up all neatly, they just end up a massive mess all over the place. So these I've got um, in Rosie's drawers, I've got one for vests, one for leggings, um, one for jumpers. Um, and then I've got like some of the smaller ones, they come in different sizes. Um, so you buy the set, I think you get five of these items in the set. So you get one's those sizes, one's this bigger size like I've shown you, and a couple of these little mini ones, which are really good for like uh, socks. I think I've got her hair bands in one, um, her tights in another one, her, um, I think in this one I've got her um, muslins. Um, so yeah, I just think they're really, really practical, really good things. And it's only five pounds for this set of one, two, three, four, five, six. Five pounds for a set of six. Um, so as I say, we've got quite a few of these in our drawers already. Um, and I've just bought this as an extra set for Quinn's drawers, um, which I know will be very well used. So I really recommend those. Um, and then this next item I hadn't actually bought previously. Um, I just thought, I thought it, it was a bit of a fail. I thought it was similar to the scub. Um, it's called Malaran. 
I'll link everything in the description box below in case I am pronouncing it really wrongly. Um, but yeah, for this I was thinking I've got um, a sort of um, console table upstairs which has got um, a bit of jewellery in it that's just a complete mess, it's just thrown in there. So I thought these were going to be sort of a smaller size box compared to the scarf that I could then organise jewellery and bits and pieces like that in. They're a little bit bigger than I thought and they're a different material. So these ones are more like softer material that are quite sort of... Um, malleable like you can move it quite easily and um, these are very hard box like material which is not what I expected but I still think they're good I still think they're a nice size I do think I'll use them for something and um, it comes with a few different sizes in the box I think this comes with seven one two three four five six seven yeah seven items for five pounds so it's the same price um, and it comes with eight different sized boxes so you've got some smaller ones which might be quite good for jewellery and things like that um, so yeah, it's not what I was expecting, but I'm sure we will find a use for it. Um, and again, it was, it was only five pounds. I think that's quite a good price for this as well. And um, so hopefully this is going to help me organise our bedroom a bit better. Next up, this was my reason for the order really in the first place. Is a couple of items that I've just got for our children's toy storage. Um, so we've got the uh, IKEA Kallax unit, which is um, just like simple boxes, shelving unit, I'll show you on some images, um, and um, my sister was actually getting rid of one of her Kallax units, so she gave it to us um, shortly before Christmas. So um, we've got uh, sort of one horizontal unit with two rows, and now we've put hers vertically um, next to it. So we've, we've got quite a lot of toy storage now, I just like to try and have everything out of the way um, that I can put away at night time and just have it all tidy. Um, so what I've got in in the Kallax unit is two things. Firstly, I've got some of the boxes. I've added these door units on, and these are also called Kallax. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so apologies if not. Um, and what you get is an insert to go into the box like this. With a door that goes on the front. Um, and I quite like this for putting things like children's books in and things. I just think it looks really neat. Um, I've already fitted, I actually bought three and I've already fitted uh, two of them. So I might just show you me fitting this final one um, as a bit of a time lapse just so you can see how simple it is to fit. Even for someone like me who has no DIY knowledge at all. Um, it comes with all of the screws and all of the items that you need in the box. The only thing that I've needed in addition to that um, to fit the other two is I have used our drill. But I don't even know if that's necessary really. You probably could just screw the screws into the wood. But I just used a drill because I thought it might cause less damage to the unit. Um, so yeah, I'll show you me popping this final one in shortly. And then the other item I've got. So we've got, we've put these door units in the top few rows of the Kallax unit. And then in the bottom few rows, we've put these boxes, um, just because I think it's easier for the children to be able to pop their toys in and out. Um, and also they can pull the whole box out and have a good route through and see what toys they've got in there. So these ones are called uh, Drona, I think. Um, and they come, similar to the ones that I put in the drawers upstairs, they come, you zip up the bottom. They come flat packed, but you just pop it up like this. Zip up the bottom, like that. And then it actually does have a hard bottom that you can then fold in like that. So it is a hard bottom box. So you can, want, even if they've got toys in, you can pick it up. Um, yeah, and I just quite like this design as well. I thought it was quite smart. So these ones are £3.50. The ones with the doors are £9, so a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really good storage solution idea for children's toys. I've also seen people on, I think Instagram and things, using them in garages for storage as well, because um, they fit so neatly. Um, you can have rows of them. Um, so yeah, I think they're quite, just quite good to pop anywhere for storage like that. Um, and as I say, I'll try and show you a few bits of footage of me, perhaps tidying up the children's area as well, because it was a total mess after Christmas. So I might show a bit of me sort of tidying up, and then I'll give you a bit of footage of me um, fitting the new door as well.
So the children are now in bed and I've just about managed to finish tidying everything up so I thought I'd show you while they're in bed because otherwise all the toys were about to come, well they come out as soon as they're awake so I thought it was a good time to show you now. Um, Dottie's just having a little drink down there but yeah all the toys are away neat and tidy and this is our new setup for our little toy unit. Um, I also thought I would show you in here our new utility room which is just about finished. Um, Gilly is not normally there in her bed but I've been working in here today. She likes to sit with me so I've moved her bed into here. Hi Gilly. Um, so this is our <laughs> new utility room. Uh, let me know what you think of these IKEA pots. I'm still not sure. Um, I do like them, but I think I'm not sure about the flowers in them. So let me know in the comments what you think and um, whether they'd look better just with the, the greenery in them and not the flowers. Um, yeah, this so this is these are our new units. In this unit is where I put the jars with the tablets and also the new um, boxes which I am using for medicine at the moment. Um, so that's going in there. I won't show you the other covers at the moment because they are a mess. Um, but yeah, this is our new utility room. We've got a bit out to the garden there. Um, and then this is Tim's racing unit thing for his sim racing. And we've got a few new prints up here of different um, Formula One tracks. Um, and also I sit here when I do my video editing as well. It's quite a good setup for that with the different dual screens. Um, and then it's also my office for my normal work as well, <laughs> my everyday work. Um, which is why Jilly's there, because I sit there doing my work and she sits with me all day. Um, and then we've used it as a little display area for Quinn's Lego as well, which I need to organise a bit better. But at the moment it's just got a few bits of Lego up there. Yeah, so this is our new utility room. Let me know in the comments what you think. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it'd be amazing if you could subscribe. Um, hope to see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.